Hey folks, I am so excited to be finally unboxing this with you. I think I myself watched every single unboxing video out there um, and I just wanted to give something back to the community by filming my own. Um, I did not go crazy this year, um, partially because I'm on a budget, partially because it's just my philosophy not to like try and be minimalistic in my purchases and the things that I use. So here is my functional order. Um, let me take all of this out and ooh, fence. <laughs> and let's look at it. Oh, it's so weird to be holding these things after seeing them for months probably now in other people's videos. So I was thinking um, I don't particularly need to store my old planners because I actually don't store my planners. I just tear out a couple of pages that are precious to me and I throw away the rest just because I move a lot and also I don't really memory journal or decorate. so. There's no point for me, but these things are always very handy because um, when I travel, I like to store my, sorry, how many you fans, but I love using this to store my shoes in them so that they don't like to put them in my luggage, you know? So that's what I will use it for, although it's a bit smaller than I thought. Well, we'll see, you always need something like this. So I'm just gonna put it with the other things with the other pouches that I have. Oh, the pens. You know, when I first saw this color combination, just like many other people who commented that they don't really like the co colors, I thought uh, that, yeah, I didn't like that combo either. But after almost two months of watching these pens on video, I think, I think it works for me. Actually, I came to like it. Uh, yeah, I'm so used to it that I really, I really like the combo. Um, what is Uniball Jetstream, I think this is what it's called. Yeah, the pen, the, the infamous ballpoint pen that does not smudge, but writes almost like a gel because of the type of ink that they use. To be honest, I use a gel pen. Oh, I don't have it here. But I normally use a gel pen in my Hobonichi. Um, I can show you, it doesn't smudge. Like I personally do not put a lot of effort and care in making neat notes, um, I just, right and you know close the page right away or like cover it with my hand and generally as you can see it's pretty smudge free of course if i just wrote something and just did that with my finger it would smudge 100 percent. but why would i do that like just from functional perspective uh, yeah perspective so yeah um it works for me um i'm gonna probably be using this as well we'll see um then i did not get a new cover this year um I'd like to have one, like a zipped cover, but I'm a bit of on a budget, so I won't. I will keep using this one. I just got a new cover on cover because I find that even though I wipe this one down with a wet cloth every once in a while, still, since I go into public places with it and I lay it on like these cafe tables, it gets a bit kind of dirty and filthy. And also, I really love that this year I noticed that in these design cover on covers, you do not have the the thingy for the pouch. So here on this clear cover, if you open it, you can access the pouch that is on this um, back cover. Uh, however, I never use it. And so this is just like an extra textured thing that I I, I think I can feel when I write. Uh, on these last pages. Well, anyhow, I got this one which doesn't have it. And let me see. Well, I will not open it now because I will only start using it um, at the beginning of the year when I swap covers, just so I have like a feeling of having something new so, since I'm still using the same cover. Uh, and I said swap covers once I swap, swap planners, of course. Oh, my uh, pencil board. This is the first pencil board that I got. Um, I never tried them before. And um, I really wanted to get the Aristocat one, but since I'm not sure whether or not I will like it and will use it, and I also noticed in some videos that they fray quite a bit over time, I don't know, I just got the cheaper one. I think this one cost twice as little as the Aristocats one, although they're so, so cute. But yeah, I got this one for now, and it's much bendier and uh, thinner than I imagined. So this is basically like a very, um, like a cardstock covered in something, some kind of material. Um, yeah, uh, the thing is, I think when you start writing 
on your Hobonichi and you don't have texture on paper that like precedes your writing, it's fine. It's soft and it's very pleasant to me. Like it depends, but I, I really enjoy that. But as I write more and more in it, uh, I think the volume, like the softness of the preceding pages changes. It becomes softer and I find it hard to control my handwriting in some places. So I am like here towards the, the binding. So I, I wanted to try this and see if this will be helpful, but I'm afraid that it will not feel as soft because I do like the softness. We'll see. I'll try it. I'm glad that it's not like plasticky. So it's still quite soft. We'll see how that works. Oh, I got, but let's go with the planner first. Um, so right now I'm using a Hobonichi uh, cousin in Japanese because I think at the time when I ordered it, the cousin was not available in English. And this one is actually the 2021 now, um, from the 2021. And as you can see, I haven't used it that much. Uh, and then this fall, I took it out and I decided to give it another try because my professional circumstances changed and I could see it using in this my new professional setup and it worked. Like I wasn't afraid of ruining it because come on, it's already ruined. It's from last year. Um, so I was more experimental and yeah, I found a way where this really, really works for me. So basically I ordered the same one, but um, in English, this time and I think well the main difference the kanji one the Japanese one does not bother me the only thing is one of the reasons why I use the the daily planner is because I in my professional life now as I'm working on a new project that does not have like a an external deadline but it's up to me when I make these things happen I find it um, it's very easy to keep postponing things and not feeling that, oh my God, I plan to do something, to be somewhere within a year and it's already like three quarters, I'm three quarters of the year in and I'm still not making decent progress. So, sorry, long story short, I just wanted to have June written here, like the month written out instead of the, just having this, uh, number because my brain and this is so silly but that's how my brain works when i see 1023 it means nothing to me for some reason i think for people from north america maybe it's different because you guys start with the month and then the day but to me this makes no sense because at best like i would register this if this was 23 slash 10 then yeah 23rd of october but 1023 means nothing to my brain, you know, just when I glance at it. And here, June 29th, like I feel like this will give me a better sense of time and urgency than this one. Even though I've been doing some things like literally writing down, um, this is the third week out of the four weeks in October, like just to help me feel the time pressure. But yeah, I think this will, this one will be even better. And, um, yeah, otherwise I'm pretty sure it's almost the same. Um, I watched a lot of comparisons. So yeah, you have here the number, but also the month. And then here I know the difference is that the, not just the uh, weekends are highlighted, like the numbers, but the entire row is highlighted. And again, you have the month written out there. Actually, I don't know how to use this spread. I'm not using it for now. We'll see how that goes. Um, also, the difference is that you don't have Japanese holidays here, so you only have the weekends that are highlighted. And then the weekly pages are, yeah, here you have the days of the week, not in kanji, but in letters. And then the daily pages. Oh, the quotes are in English and you only get one quote per spread, the quote and the author. I'm kind of excited about reading, excited to read those because they're so different from the Western inspirational short quotes that we use. And it's just, I think even like when you read product descriptions on Hobonichi's website, you can feel this cultural difference. And I appreciate it so much how every nation has a different lens through which they view the world. And just like I always read and stop and think, how does someone from a different culture perceive that? So I like having this there. Um, and what else? Oh, you know what? I was surprised in videos 
Oh no, you do have these pages. Okay, I thought that you didn't have like these, the, the text, that you only had the functional pages, but no, you do have them. I'm glad to see that. Never used this graph paper. Like I've never used any of those pages, but maybe this here will be different. And I noticed in all the videos that 222 here, yes, is a cat in a cat shape. Cute. All right, uh, then to go with it, I got these notebooks. Um, what I really liked is that the uh, Techo, the A6 notebooks, they are detachable. They have sheets that are perforated here and you can just detach them. And sometimes I just, even though it's an A5, I write so much, sometimes I would need like, for example, for my monthly uh, planning, like I would need a couple more pages. Uh, but not only that, I also need more pages for the to plan the year and the quarter and then the month and this is just not enough for me because I not only plan, I first sort of journal and reflect and then I structurally lay out my plans. This is not enough. So I thought since this is quite thin, I will put this at the back here and this way my annual quarterly monthly plans will always be with me and then the weekly spread which for the longest time i didn't know what to do with it it just not it's, it doesn't work for me this like long scale to me it means that only eight to say five is the usable space and then 30 minutes per line just two like things are too close together i don't know I, I see so many people use it for time blocking it just didn't work for me but instead i can use this for sort of uh have a bit of a meal plan here have some lifestyle things to do um that for me means like since i'm trying to walk ten thousand, do ten thousand steps per day i don't like to do them mindlessly i like something to do like run an errand or something like a pleasant errand and walk and this is like my ideas what i what i could walk towards basically then my weekly tasks and that list comes from my monthly and quarterly and annual goals and then some reflection here if i need it to be so i don't know i'm still trying to figure it out but basically i can do my weekly planning here uh, so these are what these are for um my hobonichi the pens i showed you and then um, well, that was, I was hoping to be very functional, very basic with my order this year, but I ended up ordering a day free nonetheless. The thing is, I run a larger YouTube channel and a newsletter and an Instagram page, and on, I always kept like a separate, oh, the paper, let's look at it later, but I always kept like a, a separate, um, planner for this, like a content calendar. And I usually used a Muji content calendar. Um, it has absolutely the same setup. It's monthly pages laid out like this and then uh, just uh, empty pages at the back. I realized that this might not have been the best purchase because with the content calendar, my plans change quite a bit. Um, like I think that I will post or make, create something on this date, but I ended up moving it someplace else. And usually I use erasable pens and I just erase and it's neat and clean and put it somewhere else. Here, I tried the erasable pens in my, um, in this, on this Tomoe River uh, paper, like in my cousin. And the issue is this paper, as amazing as it is with water, for instance, that you can really, I've, I've drawn uh, stuff here and it just doesn't tear or anything. But as soon as you apply like pressure for friction, physical friction, erasing that pen, um, I feel you can easily damage the page. Like I think I almost tore it on a couple of instances. I, I don't see it here, but really like it, it didn't go well. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, whether I should use maybe a pencil, I don't know, we'll see, I'll try it out. I like that you have, unlike in Muji, you have three extra months here. So what I'm thinking is maybe skipping nine spreads for potentially nine additional months, and maybe this will last me for two years. Although, 
it might also get really filthy and I might want to change it. But you know, I just, I, I really like using up the stuff that I buy and not buying and it's just like sitting there. And that's why I, I kept this one. Yes, I did not use all the pages, but then see next year I came back to it. And basically what I did on all my spreads, Whiteout actually works amazing on this paper because um, it matches the color so well. You can barely see it. You cannot really see it. So I was able to change like all my month um oh these were they just fit in terms of like the first came on tuesday so that was well but like um on my let's say weeklies i just changed the dates everywhere and uh with the white out i was able to extend it to 2022 so yeah let's see what what i end up doing with this one and by the way i didn't get a cover for this one first it's expensive second i wasn't sure if they have a cover maybe they do actually but i wasn't sure like if they have a cover that wouldn't be overly thick for this one so instead what i've seen someone do on um on the internet is get this uh midori a5 clear cover and that should fit actually both i think the cousin and the day free let me see oh and they have a like a pen loop cool so i can put my pen here so if i remember correctly you're supposed to fold this back all the way let's see put this in fold this back perfect it fits just perfectly okay that, that's great so i don't need an external cover and actually i was thinking that i might get because this is just six euros so i might get a second cover like this and occasionally change it up and put this one or like the new one in a cover like this just you know for some like to freshen it up because i don't like when some people like it but i i like the fresh start feeling that a new planner gives me and sometimes you don't need a new planner you just need a new cover and it gives you the same feeling um, that's one of the reasons why i consider it an avec because the idea of swapping planners mid-year really appeals to me but the avec is in japanese and um, yeah i just really wanted to get rid of this four six my brain cannot understand what a four six is i always have to thank america for April, 6th of April, I guess. Yeah, um, and now let's see the paper that they gave us. <sighs> yeah, as I thought, I cannot really feel the difference from the, just touching it. And that's what I expected because I realized that the only way for me to appreciate the Tomo River paper, because there's just so much amazing paper out there these days and it all feels great like i remember 10 years ago when i first tried a rodeo or a claire fontaine yes it felt like very different from all the paper that came before like in the early 2000s but now i feel like so many brands make amazing paper however i think once you start using it and this paper really flourishes once you um put ink on it because as you put ink on it depending on the ink I feel that the weight of the paper changes, the way it turns changes, the sounds that it makes changes. So one of the reasons I love writing with this gel pen is because of how the paper reacts to it, like the weight that it gets from it. Um, so yeah, I would have to write on this tidy sheet of paper and see how it feels once it has ink on it. And you see, I don't do any decorating really. The only kind of decoration I do is like write out these um, days of the week. And also I don't use my weekends mostly, like sometimes, but I mostly try to disconnect from work. And so they're blank. And um, I also, you can see that I have some unused pages because I only started using it in September. So these, are still unused and I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna use it for some water coloring uh, water <laughs> color drawing because I love the I just love how watercolor comes out uh, on this paper and how it wrinkles and just the colors and everything yeah that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it I will be filming a video on um, my organization like functional planning system in Hobonichi so if you want to stick around for this then feel free to subscribe and otherwise have the loveliest of days and bye